Hello everyone, this is Andrew here, and today I have for you the Iron Man 2 Movie Series Mark III action figure. Here is the back of the packaging with the Mark III proudly displayed as the main picture, along with Mark II, the Hyper Velocity Iron Man, and the Iron Monger. As well as some rather nice information about the Mark III armor. Now that we've seen the box, let's open it up and see what he's all about. And here he is, the Iron Man Mark III out of his packaging. As you can see, he comes with a standard set of accessories, a very nice display stand, three Iron Man cards that when combined form the schematics of the figure that can be placed on the stand, as well as the flip-up armor piece that fits over his chest. As you can see, the Mark III is a direct repaint from the Mark II. As seen from the first movie, the Mark III is essentially an improvement over the Mark II suit. He's not as prone to having the slight icing problems at high altitudes that the Mark II has. And Tony Stark's desire to use bright red and gold as a preference. But despite being a repaint, he really is a nice figure. And the Mark III does play a vital role in the first movie. So it is a relevant figure. And here's a size comparison with the original Mark III Iron Man suit from the first Iron Man movie 6 inch scale toy line. Even though the new Mark III is a lot smaller, I do find him a lot more appealing for some reason. And they seem to have made the proportions better on him as well. His flip up armor accessory is not something that I am a fan of in any way. When I first tried opening these panels, I ripped this one right off of the hinge. I've been able to put it back on, but now it will never come back into its closed position, which is a real disappointment. They're both made out of this really soft rubber, so there's no way you can snap it in half or anything like that. But also, at the same time, they really don't want to comply when you want to get it back into its closed position. Anyway, you slip it over his head, just like this, goes all the way down, be careful not to pop off his shoulder pads when doing so, and that's how he looks with this armor piece on. I don't like it, there's no reason to make him look bigger than he already is. It really doesn't do much to the figure. It has these air brake panels that pop up when he wants to make a quick stop and even go backwards when he flies. Not a bad feature, but again, I'm not a fan of it in any way. If they could have done that without this whole piece and made it better quality, it would have looked a lot nicer because I really like the detail of the Iron Man 3 suit, just as you see right here. The Mark III's articulation is exactly the same as that of the Mark II. His head can rotate all the way around. He can look a little bit up, quite a bit down. His shoulders can rotate all the way around. They can go out about that far. Anything further will pop off these plastic shoulder pads, as you see here, just like on the Mark II. His elbows bend about 90 degrees. They also rotate all the way around. His wrists rotate all the way around. And as you see, even his hands are the same as the Mark II where he has the fist on the right hand with the repulsor blast painted on there. And the left hand is open with also a repulsor blast painted there. Very nice detail. His upper abs area rotates all the way around. He can do crunches. And the legs are the same as all the other Iron Man 2 toys where you have this ball joint, which I'm not a huge fan of, but you can go all sorts of directions with it with his uh, legs. 
and he's got double jointed knees enabling him to do some very nice bending there and he's got a little bit of wiggle room on his ankles but not really anything worth mentioning actually because either mine are really tight or they really don't move much at all despite the flip up armor being essentially useless everything else more than makes up for it the stand is very nice, the cards are very nice, and the figure itself is very nice. And putting all that together, it does make for a very nice display piece. Along with the other Mark series armors, you can make your very own Hall of Armor display. Not to mention that these are really fun little action figures. They are on the same scale as other 3 and 3 quarter inch action figures, such as the G.I. Joe figures, Star Wars, and the Marvel Universe figures to name a few. Added to the fact that you can mix and match the cards to create your own Iron Man figure, there's quite a variety of play value with this toy. Hasbro did a really nice job capturing the look of the Iron Man 3 suit, just as they did with the Mark II and Mark I, and a whole lot of other figures in the line. In the end, I hope you enjoy this figure as much as I do. I truly do believe that he's a nice addition to anyone's collection. This is Andrew saying thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.